With your sports on demand for Friday, July 26th, I'm Alex Klein. Gladstone Major Girls Softball continuing its run at the Central Regional Tournament down in Indianapolis. Today, the semifinals against Polk City, Iowa. We'll pick it up in the fifth. Gladstone down 4-1. Maggie Buckley up, and she gets it past the pitcher and up the middle for the RBI single. A runner scores, so it's 4-2. Next up, Montgomery Pepin, and this girl has been good all tournament. And here she is doing it again. A two-run double for the Gladstone pitcher ties the game at four apiece. But then bad news. Bottom of the sixth, I was Maddie Simmons up, and she crushes that ball to center field. That is over the fence for the walk-off home run. Iowa wins 5-4. to four. Gladstone eliminated. The first thing I told them is never underestimate the determination of a Gladstone softball player. Um, I told them that they have represented the Upper Peninsula in the state of Michigan with unbelievable passion and fight. And I told them that there's a lot of little girls back home glued to their televisions and saying that I want to be like those girls someday. Gladstone finishes with a 7-2 record since the state tournament. Iowa would go on to win the championship and advances to the World Series. Little League minor softball at the state tournament now. Escanaba falls to Edwardsburg 15-5 in pool play. Little League baseball minors, District 11 championship, Portage Lake Blanks Nagani 11 to nothing to advance to the state tournament. In Little League baseball juniors, state tournament action in Grand Rapids, Ishpeming takes care of Richmond 8-5, advancing to the championship game tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. against Edwardsburg. American Legion Baseball, Marquette at the state tournament in Gladwin. The Blues defeating the hosts 3-2 in the first game, but fall to Rosebush post 383 in eight innings in the second game. That score 9-8. Marquette is eliminated from the tournament, but good news for Gladstone Legion. They defeat Trenton 9-4 behind pitcher Carson Shea, who only allowed one earned run. The Indians move on to the championship game tomorrow at 1 o'clock, seeking their third straight title. And some hockey news now, Finlandia's Timo Kokar is going pro. The forward signed a professional hockey contract in his home country of Slovenia, playing for HDD Yesenice. In the last two seasons, Yesenice made it to the Alps Hockey League playoff semifinals. Kokar played for Finlandia from 2016 to 2019, tallying three goals and four assists in that time. This past season, Finlandia qualified for the NCHA playoffs for the first time in seven years.